Hey guys, so I'm back again with another five Pharmica picks where um, I was trying to do this every other month, but it seems to be like every three or four months at this point, um, where I pick five products from Pharmica that I recommend. And this time I sort of went with a little bit of a theme. I picked products that I would use in like a spa routine. So these are all things um, that I would use on like a pamper night or something like that. And I'm actually pairing this again with another one of the Pharmica gift bags they're doing another gift with purchase it's the fall beauty bag um so i'd originally planned to get this out a little bit sooner but i decided to go ahead and just pair it with this again so i don't have two pharmaca videos um it just sort of would work out anyway because then maybe you can make a purchase on pharmaca if you want and get the bag if you want um so i'm gonna go over the five picks first and then i'll go over what's in the bag i love the bag this time it says it's glow time it's so cute pharmaca has the best bags um, and then we'll go over what's inside. The bag is available online and in stores starting on October 20th. So that's when I will be posting this video. So let's go ahead and get into what my five spa picks from Pharmaca are. So the first product that I picked out is a product from Juice Beauty that I've been wanting to try since it was released. I was very interested in this because you guys know I love exfoliants. <laughs> um, this one is the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Resurfacing Micro Exfoliant. This is an intensive spa grade mycoderma, myco, mycoderm abrasion that helps resurface to visibly reduce fine lines and even skin tone, revealing smoother and younger looking skin. It's an alternative to conventional chemical dermabrasion. The effective formula made with certified organic ingredients, clay and jojoba microparticles, gently resurfaces, smooths, and softens. It definitely does. It's a very gentle, I don't know why, I was sort of expecting it to be like very gritty, like very super fine particles, very gritty, very, very exfoliating but it is very gentle the particles are um almost bigger i'll see if i can show you a bit so it's like a creamy creamy base with some particles in it it's like little black little black specks looks like it might be apple buds grape buds and lemon leaf might be the exfoliating particles um but if you're looking for something that's very gentle and won't like scratch at the skin or if you're worried about like micro tearing things like that this is one that you might want to try because it is very very gentle in terms of exfoliating it almost doesn't even feel like it's really exfoliating your skin but then when you remove it your skin feels very smooth it has been exfoliated and i actually really like it so if you're someone where something maybe like a salt or a sugar scrub is too harsh or intensive for you try something like this because it does effectively smooth and exfoliate the skin without being super super harsh that's the first product um, in my spa routine the second while I get a bath ready and I've got a bath product for you here too um, is a mask so the one that I have been super super obsessed with lately is the organic seeds hydrogel mask from Wamisa this is amazing I always like to use this after an exfoliating treatment or like an antioxidant treatment something where your skin is gently exfoliated um, this just works wonders after an exfoliating treatment because it imparts so much hydration to the skin your skin will feel plump and hydrated and smooth it's a clear gel in like a serum this one has been used obviously it's not here anymore um, but it's like a clear gel mask in a serum this really is like if you're gonna pick any sheet mask to use i would definitely recommend picking up this one before you give any others a try because this one is amazing there aren't a lot of sheet masks that i've used that i've been incredibly impressed with but this is one that i would recommend everybody give a try i have tried the organic flowers one that they offer and they also offer one other one that i haven't tried yet but this one is definitely better over the organic flowers one um this is just like the best thing i've ever put on my face sheet mask wise in like ever <laughs> it's relatively inexpensive i think this only runs like 7.45 on pharmaca when it's like nine dollars originally but still just like for the price you really really can't beat it so while i'm getting my bath ready um i put my bath salts in which i'll show you in a minute i stick this on as the bath is running after i've done my exfoliating treatment and obviously your skin will be cleansed before you do the exfoliating treatment if you're wearing any makeup or anything like that um but yeah as i am putting my mask on i'm getting ready to get in the bath um i'm going to run it with the everyone epsom soak this is clarifying rejuvenating and relaxing and especially for nighttime you want something that's a little bit more relaxing um this one is eucalyptus and citrus 
It's made with Epsom salt, um, olive oil, and then a lemon myrtle, orange, and eucalyptus essential oil blend. I love bath salts, especially because they just make the water feel like nice and soft. You sit in there and it just, it really does help me like relax and sort of just like chill for an hour. I take really, really long baths. I know they don't always recommend like super long hot baths, but uh, I am very, very guilty of running a super hot bath and then sitting in it for like an hour while I watch, you know, like an episode of Top Chef or something like that. And I love doing that with bath salts. I just always make sure that I keep like a cold glass of water next to me because I have gotten out of the bath sometimes after sitting in it for so long and not had any water that when I get out I feel very very faint <laughs> um, which is probably why they don't recommend longer than 20 minutes in a hot bath but I, as long as I keep like a glass of cold water um, near me I'm totally fine so this is a bath salt that I've really really been loving I think I'm like halfway through the bottle already really liking it the it really is like a relaxing and sort of like rejuvenating scent and I'm just really, really liking it. Um, so then once I get out of the shower, I'll do like a body treatment. And I went with something, these these two are like, actually, you know, three of the four products in here are really affordable. The mask is affordable. The Epsom salt, I think is like $13 or something. I'll have it all linked down below. Um, but then because the two face treatments were a little bit pricier, um, I went with a, few, a couple of inexpensive items. So the one that I picked for this is the Bulgarian Lavender Hand and Body Lotion from Desert Ezit. From Desert Essence. Desert Essence is a brand that I've been using since I switched over to more green and natural products. They're an inexpensive brand that's really easy to get. You can get them at Whole Foods or any health store really. I think Carrie's Desert Essence, everyone that I've been to has. Um, the ingredients are good quality. They're effective. I really like the Desert Essence line. I religiously use their lemon and tea tree shampoo. It's like my first cleanse anytime I wash my hair. I love that stuff. Um, their body lotion is just a great body lotion that's inexpensive if you don't need something super, super expensive. Let's go ahead and put some on my arms right now. And I picked lavender too because it's a relaxing scent. It'll be great for after the bath. Just help you relax and get ready for bed. It has a very nice natural lavender scent. It doesn't feel synthetic. It just feels very, just like relaxing and calming. Nicely moisturizes the body. I really like the uh, the Desert Essence line. I've used their skincare before. I just think they make great products at like a really affordable price point. And if you are new to Green Beauty, um, I definitely would suggest checking out the Desert Essence line because it'll get you started. It's inexpensive and easily accessible, like I said. So then once you get out of the bath, you've taken your mask off, you've put your lotion on, you're ready to go to bed. Um, the last thing you want to do is put on some sort of moisturizer to lock in the hydration to really support your skin for repair during the night one that i love um that's available on pharmaca and i'm just i'm so glad that this this brand is available on available on pharmaca it's the skin out maki berry beauty whip this stuff is fantastic especially if you have acne prone skin um this is a deeply soothing and smoothing mask but i use it as i guess an overnight mask sort of like a moisturizer as the last step in my skincare routine after even just this you don't even really need a serum because your skin is so hydrated and like plump the only thing i do is i just put this on before i go to bed it you know supports acne reduction during the night it supports moisturization during the night i just absolutely love this stuff it was in a previous beauty heroes box it's actually going to be featured in the november pearlesque box so i know this is sort of like a pharmaca picks but if you've been wanting to try it i definitely suggest picking up the november pearlesque box because a full size of this is going to be in there um, if you don't want to sign up for a, a subscription box and you don't care about that um, this is available on pharmaca.com and i don't think it's excluded from the discounts that they run so i believe there's a 20 percent discount um, currently available i'll leave it down below if there is so you can get skin owl for 20 percent off on pharmaca.com which is fantastic so this is a creamy skin drenching mask boosted with maki berry powder plus antioxidant rich organic rooibos toning dmae and smoothing msm um, skin is left feeling deeply moisturized supple and velvety soft and it is this is one of my absolute favorite nighttime treatments like i said it definitely supports acne healing um, the maki berry in it is just superb for acne so i love that is like the end of the night treatment i'll go ahead and pump um a little bit of it on the back of my hand so you could sort of see it's a little bit runny right now usually it's pretty thick um i might want to stick this in the uh, refrigerator which would also be good just after a hot bath sticking um this in the refrigerator and putting it on right before you go to bed putting on a really thick layer and let it soak in throughout the night be fabulous 
so those are my five pharmaca picks sort of like spa edition definitely love those products i think they're all really great um and just you know great if you want to give yourself a spa night you don't want to spend a ton of money i think you can get all this for under a hundred dollars i think this one is 68 normally but with the discount you should be able to get everything for under 100 bucks um so now let's get into the fall beauty bag so this i will say i've gone through the products that are in here this one is a little bit less not a little bit less it's a lot less vegan friendly and if you're like a purist in ingredients pharmaca doesn't carry strictly green beauty they do carry stuff that has ingredients like pegs and other ingredients like that that you might not be comfortable with um if you are a purist or strictly vegan this might not be the bag for you i've gone through it there's quite a few non-vegan products in here um quite a few non-pure products in here so it sort of just depends on where you are um, what kind of products you do use and um, ingredient wise and stuff like that so a lot of these are probably going to be gifted to friends and family for me um, there are a couple of things in here that I'm excited about but the, but the majority of them are not vegan or they're not vegan friendly mostly and then um, there are some ingredients that I don't typically use so the details for the bag if you are interested in it is it's free with a $100 purchase at pharmaca.com um, like I said, it's available starting October 20th in stores and online. They do have stores in California, Colorado, Illinois, New Mexico, Oregon, and Washington. So if you're of any of those, in any of those states, you can look up where your Pharmaca stores are. And you can pick it up in store if you're interested. If you are going to buy online, um, just place $100 worth of beauty stuff in your cart and then enter the code beauty bag and it'll automatically be, enter be entered into your cart. You get the organic cotton bag. It features 13 products and it's worth more than $200. So it is a very high um, valued bag because there are a lot of full size products in here actually. But um, like I said before, it's not the most vegan friendly and it's not super pure ingredients in my opinion anyway. Um, but there are some good, there are a few good things in here. So the first one is the Sonage Gomage Exfoliating Gel. This is not a brand that I've ever tried before. It's a micro be micro bead free scrub. Um, that eliminates dead skin and the ingredients aren't terrible in here the only thing um, that would be may have con may be of concern to some people is phenoxyethanol but I'm pretty sure that this is a full size so it's 1.7 ounces so if you've ever been interested in that product that's in here there's also the camel milk and pearl powder um, be do triple milled face and body bar smooth and brighten so definitely not vegan friendly camel milk and pearl powder but <laughs> there's a full size bar of that in here there's also the seeds phytonutrient lip balm for dry chapped lips it does contain beeswax and seeds phytonutrient if i'm not mistaken is actually owned by l'oreal um so not a cruelty free company <laughs> um but yeah there's a full size of that in here as well let's see what other full size products i can pick out of here there's the triple derm protective day cream broad spectrum spf 30. so while the ingredients in the cream are actually not um they're actually not bad they're they're pretty nice looking um the chemical or the the sunscreen is all chemical based so it depends on your comfortability with uh, chemical sunscreens. I think there's one more full-size product in here and then the rest are all sort of more deluxe sizes. There's also the Dr. Hauschka Color Correcting Powder Translucent. So if I'm not mistaken, this is, yeah, it's got some greens and pinks and browns. So when you swirl it all around, it sort of color corrects. Um, this does have talc and silk powder in it. So again, it depends on your, how you feel about silk and, um, how you feel about silk as an ingredient and also talc but that is a another full-size product so, so there are a lot of full-size products in here the rest are all um the rest are all deluxe size samples so let's start with the jane iredale smooth affair facial primer and brightener i don't know the ingredients on that but i know that jane iredale is a little bit more on the natural spectrum. They do contain like silicones and things like that. So I suspect that that, pro that is probably in there. There's also the Paula's Choice Resist Perfectly Balanced Foaming Cleanser. It's for natural, uh, normal, oily, and combination skin. 
Um, Paula's Choice is a brand that I used in the very beginning. I think I used their Resist C15 Super Booster before I found other brightening products and it worked really well. But again, they do have um, ingredients that are like phenoxyethanol. Yeah, there's phenoxyethanol in here, but um, most of the ingredients aren't terrible except for the preservative. So it depends on how you feel about that. There's the Juice Beauty Brightening Emulsion. Um, can't remember if this is, oh no, it's not a spray, it's like a cream. So it's like a brightening, smooth over cleansed face, neck, and decollete, then massage into the skin until fully absorbed. So yeah, I think it's, it's just like a brightening serum. So there's a little bit of a Juice Beauty in there. There's also a little travel size of the Shakai Hand and Body Lotion in Coconut. And then these are the products that I'm the most excited about. There's four. So there's the Babo Botanicals Lip Tint SPF 15 in Plum Rose. This does use uh, physical, physical, woo, that came out a lot faster than I thought it would, physical sunscreen, so I'm pretty excited about that. I don't always use like a sunscreen lip thing, though I probably should, especially living in Arizona. There's also the Trilogy Makeup Be Gone Cleansing Balm. There's like a deluxe size of that. You I mean, you guys know I love a good cleansing balm. I don't have the ingredients for that. It's not listed anywhere here, but I'll leave it linked down below in case you're interested in checking it out. And then these two I'm the most excited about. There's the Indie Lee CoQ10 Toner, which I love. I just finished up a full-size bottle of this. Love this stuff. It's really great. It's nice to have a travel size, especially just, you know, throw in your purse. You can spray it on your face anytime you're feeling like parched or anything. And then there's a little travel size of the Well People Mascara, which would, again, be great for traveling. Um, always wanted to give that a try, but I've never picked it up. And then everything, of course, comes in this organic cotton bag that says it's glow time. So that's everything that's in the bag this time. Again, I'll leave all the information for it down below in case you're interested in checking it out. I'll link everything. But that is my five Pharmaca picks for this month um, and then the fall beauty bag that will be available starting October 20th. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you plan on picking up anything to get the fall beauty bag, if there's anything in there that you're interested in or um, maybe what you'd like to see next from me from Pharmaca. If there's any products in particular you'd like a review on, maybe leave them down below and I could do like a subscriber picks video or something like that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.